Okay, we're gonna try our first online lab today. Okay, we're gonna try to test the absorbency of paper towels today. But just like any good experiment, before we get into the experiment, we have to actually plan out the experiment and what we're gonna do. Now you would be doing this thing in class if we were able to, but unfortunately we are not. Now I do have four brands of paper towels that we would be testing. So I have Bounty, Brawny, Viva, and Kroger brand. Now question number one says, what brand of paper towel is the most absorbent? Okay, you're gonna to have to choose which one you think is the most absorbent. Now it does ask you what the independent variable of the experiment would be. So what are we changing? asks you what things you will have to control for or we will have to control for. In other words, what are you going to have to keep the same? Remember, in any good experiment, we are only changing one variable. Okay, so there's kind of two ways to do this experiment. One of them is to count how many pennies it will hold when the towel is wet. So what, we're, what we would do is we would wet the paper towel and then put pennies on it until it rips and the pennies fall. We would count the number of pennies and that would be one way to test the paper towel strength. The second way we're gonna test this is by putting water on the paper towel and measuring how much water it absorbed by measuring its weight. So we would measure it dry and then we would measure it wet to see how much water it soaked up. So let's give an example on what a good hypothesis might be. If your prediction is that Kroger brand paper towels would be the strongest, then you would say something down here, like if Kroger brand paper towels holds the most pennies, then they would be the strongest. And if you wanted to focus on absorbency, you could say if Kroger brand paper towels holds the most water, then it would be considered the most absorbent. Now, when you would be designing this in class, you would have to tell me how many paper towels you would need, how many pennies you would need, how much water you would need, and etc. But since I already know what I'm doing, I can tell you we are going to use three single pieces of paper towel per paper towel brand. The independent variable is the thing that we are changing. So if we're using the same amount of paper towels, but with four different brands, what we are changing is the brand of paper towel. Now the dependent variable will change depending on which experiment you like best. The dependent variable would either be number of pennies before it breaks or the weight of the paper towel, the weight of the water uh, that the paper towel holds. Part C is asking you how you're going to measure this variable. So in the pennies, we are going to count the pennies. And in the absorbency, we are going to measure the mass with a balance. And for the safety precaution, I just have to make sure I won't drown. Okay, this is how we're going to test our absorbency of paper towels. We are going to put paper towels over this space and then pour water on top of them and then put pennies on top of them to see how many each brand holds. First thing we need are the paper towels of each brand. Okay, now as I said, we're going to use three individual paper towels for each trial. Now before we get confused, we should start labeling these paper towels. Okay, so we're going to go through and test these brands of paper towels for their absorbency and holding of pennies. So the first one we have is Brawny. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this over the gap and tape it down.
Great. Now we are going to put water on the paper towels and we have to make sure that we have the same amount of water for each paper towel experiment. Which I have measured this to be 25 milliliters of water. Now we're ready for the pennies. I have counted out sets of 50 pennies to put on here. I think that it will hold more than 50. Though it will probably break along the seam, and that's not exactly ripping, but it will still be a test of strength. So right now it is holding exactly a hundred pennies. And it does look like it's about to break. It looked to be about 260. So what we can conclude is that Brawny can hold 260 pennies before breaking. Okay, the next brand of paper towels we're going to test is Kroger brand. Same thing, we are going to put it over this gap, tape it in. Okay, and we are going to pour the exact same amount of water, 25 milliliters. And we are going to start putting pennies on them. Luckily, I did have enough time to dry out all of the pennies since the last one. Okay, it looks a little rough, so I'm going to start going one by one. We have 150 on here now. Two hundred. So the Kroger brand paper towel holds two hundred pennies. Okay, so now we are testing our next brand of toilet paper, which is Dollar Store brand. And same procedure, we are going to put this over, tape it, and then put pennies on. So now we are ready to put the water on, and it's the same 25 milliliters as it was before. Now we are ready to start with the pennies, and it honestly might not hold very much. And again, I was able to dry out these pennies so that all the runs will be consistent. Forty-two pennies. 
so the dollar store brand only holds 142 pennies. We only have two more paper towels left to test. This one is Viva. The next one will be Bounty. I always think it's going to stay. Once again, we have 25 milliliters of water. So right now we have 200 pennies on there. It holds exactly 250 pennies. Okay, this will be the last brand of paper towel for the penny test. This one is Bounty. We have the same 25 milliliters of water. Here's 50 pennies. So Bounty holds 234 pennies. Okay, so if we're going to test the absorbency of paper towels, we would need to measure the paper towels dry and then get them wet and see how much weight they soaked up in water. Now this zero, you probably can't see that. This zeroed it out so that this is able to collect the paper towel and not break the balance. So we're gonna go in the same order. So the first one up is Brawny. Next we have Kroger brand. Next, I'm gonna put each paper towel on top of this, pour in water, and then weigh them to see how much they absorb. And again, we're using 25 millimeter, milliliters of water just for consistency.
Okay, so let's talk a little about these experiments and how they went. The thing we changed, remember the independent variables, the, the thing the scientist changes. So what did we change? We changed the brand of paper towel. We tried to keep everything else the same. So what did we keep the same? What were our experimental controls? Well, we used the same container. We had the same volume of water. We had the same number of paper towels for each brand. And we used non-wet pennies the whole time. I was able to dry out the pennies after each trial. This may not seem like a big deal to you, but the small amount of water that could have been still on the pennies if they were wet would influence our results, and we didn't want that, right? And in the absorbency test, we would have a brand of paper towel, and we have very similar experimental controls as well. We use the same balance to measure the weight width. We use the same number of paper towels. And we have the same volume of water. Here's one thing to keep in mind, though. We only did one experiment. We only did this experiment one time. Science is repeatable. So let's do it again. I'm kidding. We're not going to do it again. But if we wanted to make it a good scientific experiment, we would perform this multiple times. Okay, let's talk a little about the data. Here we have the five brands of paper towels, and here's the first test we used, the strength test for the number of pennies. So we can see that Bounty had the most with 260, then actually Viva with 250, then Bounty with 234, Kroger brand with 200, and finally the dollar store with 142. And for the second experiment, the absorbency test, we can clearly see that Bounty hold, held the most water with 24.5 grams, then Kroger with 23.8 grams, very, very close here, Viva with 22.58, and Brawny with 22.41 grams, and finally, last place, Dollar Store with 14.56 grams. So pick your three favorite brands of paper towels, and you're going to put the data for these right here. Whether that's the pennies test or the absorbency test, you're going to put the data that we collected there. We're also going to make a graph, y-axis here, the number of pennies for the grams of water absorbed, and the x-axis down here, where we're going to put brands of paper towel. Now, some of you might be wondering, what are the prices of these so we can say whether it's worth it to buy the expensive paper towels or not? So it seems like I've given you some work to do. I think we can get this to me by probably Friday, September 18th. As always, make sure to ask me if you have any questions, and thanks for watching. And for the second experiment, the buoyancy measurement, a buoyancy?